What is a descriptive essay? A descriptive essay is a genre of essay where a writer vividly describes an object or place. It requires you to use language creatively and figuratively to help your reader visualize your content effectively. Unlike a narrative essay which simply requires you to write a story, the descriptive essay genre focuses on a specific topic such as a person, occupation, animal, event, behavior, or place. The following are examples of descriptive essay topics you could write on. Describe the best place you have ever visited. Describe your favorite movie. What would your future dream job be? Something I love to do in my free time. My favorite book. How do you structure a descriptive essay, similar to other essays? As covered in our How to Write an Essay Writing Guide, the descriptive essay follows a particular format that allows them to present facts and figures in an orderly fashion. As such, your descriptive essay should look something like this. 1. Introduction. This is the first section of your work and provides context on your topic of choice. Since it contains the hook, it is important to use descriptive language from the start that entices your reader to read the entire text. You can also explain the value of the topic, which is the context. Last, write a thesis statement that summarizes what your work will cover. For help on how to write a proper thesis statement, please through this short guide on an essay format that goes into detail. Let's say your descriptive essay topic prompt is describe the best meal you ever had. Our descriptive essay writing help experts would begin with, a meal is not just filling and nutritious. With the right amount of expertise and care, one can create an art form that leaves diners craving more. This is what happened to me when I went to a small restaurant while visiting Italy. For many, Italian cuisine may seem overrated when you hear locals describe it, but my experience proved that the rumors were definitely true. Italian food is top-notch cuisine. 2. Body, these could be one or more paragraphs, depending on your word count. Begin each with a simple sentence and build upon that with flowing details and vivid language that trigger the senses. You could also use transition phrases between the sentences to improve the flow and immerse your reader in the story, for the prompt describe the best meal you ever had, a descriptive essay example of a body paragraph could look like this. Following a tip from my friend Rudy, I decided to vacation in Rome and check out the various pizzerias they have there. We meandered through the streets, ready to check out any reasonable-looking restaurant, and we finally found one. In a nondescript street right next to a tailor, we found a small shop with a green and red banner style to look like the Italian flag. At the front door were some numbers and a small gathering of waiting patrons. Apparently, the joint is so popular that they have a 30-minute waitlist. This made me even more eager to try out the food and see what all the excitement was about. 3. Conclusion, finish up your essay in one paragraph, where you reflect on the essay's purpose. It is also important to provide the importance of the topic and a closing statement that provokes further thought in your reader's mind. A closing statement also helps your article stay imprinted in the reader's mind and can improve the impression they have on you. To sum it up, La Terrazzo was a fantastic eatery with good vibes and good food as well. Not only did they surpass my expectations, but they also made me a fan of Italian cuisine. Now I thoroughly enjoy trying foods from other cultures, especially if people from all over the world enjoy them. Not only does this mean that the food is enjoyable for many with different tastes, but it also assures me that I am more likely to find it in many locations. As such, not only will I continue exploring Italian cuisine, but I will also look into new foods with an open-minded approach. What are the five senses in descriptive writing? Descriptive writing seeks to paint a picture. As such, a descriptive essay should appeal to a human being's senses. These five senses are, one, sight, since text will not allow your readers to see the image, engage in vivid visual descriptions that transport your reader to the location in which your story takes place, two, taste, while you could use taste for situations where your characters consume food, you may also associate it with scent. For example, telling how the main character could taste the food cooking as they waited in anticipation. 3. Sound, both the presence and absence of sound are interesting as it contributes to the setting. For example, shouting in a market is an important detail, while silence in the forest may show the calm of nature. 4. Touch, what a character touches could be soft, rough, hard, slimy, silky, or cold. It could also show the character's mental state or thoughts, 
such as when they touch a person's picture. As such, touch helps build the plot. 5. Smell. A smell can be used to communicate seasons, foods, and other events such as fire. It is very powerful as it triggers memories in the reader and may remind them of a previous point in the story. If incorporating these five senses sounds difficult to you, don't hesitate to contact us for expert descriptive essay writing help. 7 Tips for the Best Descriptive Essay 1. Decide on the personal essay or professional description approach. The personal approach refers to topics that revolve around your personal experience and aim to trigger sympathy in the reader. An example is an essay about the best day you ever had. Alternatively, you may use the formal description approach, which is similar to an argumentative essay and provides facts on a specific topic. However, overly formal language should not be used. An example of a formal descriptive essay topic would be what happened during the Asian financial crisis in the 1990s. 2. Understand that the description should span the entire essay. This is what makes it a descriptive essay. And it should not have academic layers within. This also means that having a structure is important and contributes to the descriptive essay's merit. 3. Write a draft. This allows you to see if your introduction can hook your reader and if your topic idea can sustain your word count. It also helps you assess the sources you will use and how they can contribute to your essay. 4. Look up synonyms for words to help enrich your vocabulary. Synonyms are words with similar meanings, such as bad or awful, cold or frosty, achieve or accomplish, and angry or irate. While these words are similar in meaning, some can evoke stronger emotions or more vivid imagery, so be sure to use some. Online dictionaries can assist with this. And this will contribute to a better impression on your reader. 5. Avoid fluff. Fluff refers to content that does not add to your story and can interrupt your flow with unnecessary details that lead to a poor reading experience. You can avoid fluff by avoiding parentheses, wordy phrases such as that are, repetition, cliches, and poor planning. With these tips, you can catch the reader's fleeting attention. 6. Focus on readability. Once complete, look through the essay to ensure that it is easy to read and comprehensible. You should also ensure that you provide enough context and details, the thesis is relevant, the closing statement is intriguing, and the description uses interesting vocabulary. 7. Proofread and edit. You can use online software to perform a simple grammar check, then physically read through the entire text to look for any logical errors or grammar issues the software may have missed. If you need help with this, we also offer proofreading and editing services, so don't hesitate to book with us.